meet Elon, Bill and Warren. Elon is a smart guy who knows that in a DP flow transmitter, the flow is proportional to the square root of delta P. But the point of concern here is what about the square root? Where should the square root extraction be done? Should it be done in the field or should it be done in the control systems? According to Elon, it is better to do it in the control systems. Why? Because it has more computation power. But Bill has something different to say. What Bill says is that it should be done in the transmitter and he has a valid point. He says that if it's put in a line and if the operator comes to see or measure, he would see in the display DP values. But he is interested in the flow that is happening through the line and he won't be able to know what has been the flow values. So he will have to come with a separate calculator and calculate it. Is it not a lot of hassle here? Also. Warren comes with another amazing idea. It is that let's be safe and let us do it in the transmitter and the control systems. Wait a minute, this is not being safe to do it in both the sides. And this has happened in a lot of projects where there is no proper coordination between the requisition engineer and the system engineer. So it is extremely important that you communicate between both the people because what happens is sometimes it's done in both the places or it is done at neither place. So sometimes the person feels it would be done in the transmitter and the transmitter person feels it will be done in the system side and no one takes care of this thing. Now let us look at the case of Bill. So for Bill's case where he said that the transmitter has to also give locally the flow, let us look at this workaround to it. The transmitter can still give only the DP signal between 4 to 20 milliampere to the control systems and what we can do is the square root extraction can be done in the control system itself. However, what we can do is we can do the square root extraction locally just for displaying the flow. Yes, this is possible and a lot of well-renowned vendors give this particular configuration. Now let's look at the smart case of Elon. Now Elon said it is good to do it in control systems, but that is not the only criteria of computation. Sometimes you need to look at what the existing client plant has. So for example, if the operating person has been trained for maybe a decade or two decades with respect to having it in transmitter or control system, it is better to follow the same philosophy and be consistent throughout the plant. However, there is one more thing to be known because of control system is that there is small issue which comes with respect to sampling time because the DP flow meter is first transferred to the control system and then square root happens. However, this is very little and usually orifice meters are not used for extremely high accuracies. So this has never been a point of concern usually. However, what my personal preference has been is it is better to do it in control systems. Why? Because in the field you don't have that much control. Maybe the transmitter vendor is changed or sometimes certain transmitters are bought from different vendors but usually control system is bought from one single vendor so you can tell the vendor that you know do the square root extraction for all the cases so you have better control that whether square root extraction has genuinely been taken place or not so if it's a greenfield plant you can give a recommendation to do it in control systems while either doing it in field or control system is valid but doing it at both the places or forgetting it is a big issue also on a side note, I produce a new video, instrumentation video every Saturday. So if you are liking this videos, then you could subscribe and especially press the bell icon so we can meet every Saturday and explore this amazing world. Till then, happy learning.